What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode we had another AB game where we were betrayed by Temyoji and then we spent some time chatting with I believe it was K and Dio and then Fine Clover came on over and we had a nice little chat. And now we're gonna go and see, or was it Clover? Maybe it was Luna. Maybe it was Luna because I think we're gonna go try and find Alice and Clover and then potentially Temyoji and Quark. So, which one do we want to go first? Uh, maybe... Maybe the crew quarters, I guess? So weird to be so early on in the timeline. I will say... I am kind of hoping the pace of things picks up a little bit. There's no doubt that this story is one that's pretty expansive and they give you bits and pieces of and it's really cool that you can kind of explore and unravel those pieces in your own way. Um, but at the same time, I am feeling a little bit tired uh, with how long the game is kind of extending and knowing that we still have this major timeline to explore and then we have each of the individual timelines. It's a little bit daunting in my opinion. but. Regardless, we find Clover and Alice, unsurprisingly. Oh, Sigma. Well? Have you found anything? No. What about you? Nothing. I looked through three of the four rooms in here. No secret passages so far. I don't think we're going to find any. Do you really think Zero Senior is that stupid? You're probably right. A secret passageway would be a pretty serious oversight. Hmm, design flaw or feature, right? And it's kind of interesting. I don't think this conversation of a secret passageway has happened before. So I'm curious to know if this is something they've been fixating on or if it's something they found and are trying to, well, I guess less subtly, um, Refute by some means? I'm not sure. I have a lot of choice adjectives for zero, but I admit stupid isn't one of them. Right? Hey, there's something I've been wondering about. What was with that panning to the view underneath those beds? What? Uh, so... What exactly is the deal with the two of you? What do you mean? Well, you obviously know each other pretty well. Yeah, we do. We're half-sisters. <laughs> and look at this pose they're striking. Any chance you'd buy that one? Sorry. Then what do you think we are? I didn't feel like playing games. What's headquarters supposed to mean? What? I heard you two talking in the infirmary. You said something about getting in touch with headquarters. So nice, we're actually going to be able to elaborate on this, or at least investigate a little bit more. They seem rather bothered that we overheard. Alice, what should we do? Alice laid her hands on her hips and sighed. Clover and I are co-workers. Okay, where do you co-work? You can't tell you that. Why not? Is it some sort of secret government project that you can't talk about? You can tell yourself that, if it makes you feel better. Does it have something to do with Zero? Why would you think that? Clover is definitely uh, no, doing a worse job at keeping a straight face throughout all this. Because you seem to know more about Zero than you're letting on, Clover. The way you were talking in the infirmary... There's even a Zero. Sure sounds like you've heard of Zero before to me. And Alice, from what you two were saying, I bet you know something about Zero, too. Ooh, they're in quite the pinch. They're certainly not playing it off very well. Come on, you can't hide it forever. <laughs> it's really funny. I've just played through Resident Evil 5 with one of my brothers, 
And there's this really funny moment where Wesker, he's like chasing you down and he's like, you can't hide forever. And so <laughs> I can't help but think of that Sigma just standing there in front of Clover and else, you can't hide forever. Well, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Clover! It's okay. I think we can tell him a little. What do you mean this isn't the first time? About a year ago. Ooh, so this is really helpful. Prior to Clover coming here, we don't know exactly how long if she was, you know, how long from getting abducted to actually partaking in this nonary game, um, you know, time has passed. But about a year prior to when Clover was abducted, at least, is when 999 took place. Nine people were kidnapped and forced to play a game. The rules were different, but it was called the Nonary Game, too. Oh, wait, I guess only seven of them were really kidnapped. I mean, two of them were actually the ones behind it. No, I guess if I count the other two, then there were nine. I'm trying to put all that together in my head. Was it... Was it that technically Ace and Akane were, were kind of not real players, right? But then there was also, like, future Akane and future Junpei, and that... Is that what she's referring to? Anyway, the people behind that notary game also called themselves Zero. Whoa, hold on there, Clover. Can you give me more details? Besides, how do we even know about this in the first place? Because I was part of it. I was one of the people who got kidnapped. What? You mean this is your second nonary game? No. It's my third. Third? The same thing happened 10 years ago. Oh, that's right, she had mentioned in 999 that she had been in that ship before and stuff, right? Wait, 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 what are you... Then that means you have to have something to do with this. I... I guess you could say that. What do you mean you guess? How could you not? Whoever keeps doing these nonary games must have decided they wanted you to play a third one. No, I... I don't think so. Why not? Because the game was run by a different person both times. And the guy behind the first owner game has already been arrested. What about the second one? You said there were two people for that one. They... They're still on the run, but... Then it has to be them. No. I really don't think so. Why? Because they already did what they were trying to do. There's no way they'd have another nonary game. Um, okay, well... That makes no sense. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're missing out on quite a bit of context, Sigma. So let me see if I have this straight. The Nonary game has already been done twice, by different people, and for different reasons? Yes. Well, I can't be totally sure, but I think so. Then why is whoever's doing this calling it the Nonary game? Is it just a coincidence that they're calling themselves Zero? Highly unlikely. I don't know. That's not good enough. You've got to think. Clover, you're the key to figuring all this out. But you've got to think. But I... I don't know. 
What? Gas mask. The gas mask? The gas mask? Oh, yeah, I saw it too. But what about it? Well, somebody in a gas mask showed up and used that white smoke stuff on me. And she also said that it was basically the same gas mask. That's what happened a year ago. And that's what happened on the 22nd. Someone with a gas mask attacked Alice and me while we were... Whoa! Then it's gotta be the same person. But I don't know why they do that. I mean, they already did what they needed to do. And if it was them, then I don't know why all these other people are here. Except for me and Alice, none of you guys have anything to do with what happened a year ago. Right? Yeah, well, I mean, I know I, I didn't have anything to do with it. Sigma's so like, keep me out of it. Are you sure you've never met any of the other people here? Yeah, I'm sure. I know I've never met Luna, or Dio, or Temyoji, or Quark, or Fi. But K. Right. There's no way to know who he is under that armor, and if his memory loss is real, he wouldn't know even if he had met any of us. Unless we can get that mask off him, I can't say for sure if I've met him before or not. Hmm. Okay, keep going. What happened with the first and second Onary games? Maybe they can tell us something. Um... Before she could respond, Alice spoke up. Sorry, but I think that's all you're going to get. What? Why? We don't have any proof that you're not Zero Senior. If you are, then she'd be telling our enemy all our secrets. I can't let that happen. Are you an idiot? For one, I'm not Zero. Second, even if I was, I'd already know everything you're refusing to tell me. There's no reason for you to do this. I wouldn't say that. Interesting, so there is something Alice and Clover know that Zero presumably wants to know, but probably couldn't. Maybe there's something we know that Zero Senior doesn't. And that would be... Are you deaf? I said we're not telling you. Let's go, Clover. There's one more room we haven't visited. Okay. Coming. Hey! Hold on a minute. Goodbye. The only word that appropriately describes how they left the room would be stalked. I could have followed them, sure, but it was clear I wouldn't be getting any more information out of Alice or Clover. Darn it. I kicked one of the lockers angrily, but only rattled back at me. There wasn't anything more I could do. It was time to move on to a different room. Where did I want to go? There was only one place left to go. The infirmary. So that was pretty interesting, right? We're finally, at least hearing from Clover and Alice themselves that they were involved in the events of 999. And now we know that Sigma at least knows that, right? And they're here on some sort of mission, I would say. The question is what? Sigma, Sigma huh. And if they're here on a mission, how did they get their involvement in the Nonary game? Right? 
Or it sounds like they were abducted, so they weren't planning on being in the Nonary game here, but they were doing some sort of planning in the outside world related to a current zero, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, we have Tenmyoji here. Sigma, huh? What do you want? Want? I just came by to check up on you. Oh. I thought maybe you were here to kill me. Why would I do that? Because I betrayed you in the last AB game. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly a motive. I'm the reason you and Phi are down to 1 BP. Yeah, but that's hardly a reason to kill you. Maybe. It was clear that conversation wasn't going anywhere. I shut my mouth and looked around the room. I mean, this is the room we explored ourselves. And we chatted with everybody just a little bit ago. So is it just you here? On this side of the divider, yeah. This side? Quark's over there, having a look around. And there's... You really gonna make me say it? Oh, the lady who was murdered, you mean. Yeah. You've been acting kind of weird ever since we found her. Why is that? What, isn't that normal? We found a dead body. Who the heck doesn't get a little freaked out? What ain't normal is all of you just run around like nothing happened. Heck, some of you probably don't even remember she's in here. That's just because we've got a lot of other stuff to think about. Can you blame them for being a little single-minded? They're trying to escape from a game that's just made it clear it has no problems killing them. Just trying to survive, huh? Yeah. Then, don't you think we ought to figure out who killed her first? What does that have to do with anything? You don't think much, do you? <laughs> I'll bet you a pound of neodymium the Baku who grabbed us is the same Baku who killed her. Who else could it be? We do know from another timeline that this is Temyoji's thought process, right? That whoever killed the old woman is Zero Senior, but then of course we know from another timeline that Dio killed the woman and Dio is not Zero Senior, right? If Zero is one of us... Or at least I don't think so, right? Then you're saying one of us murdered the old lady? You saw it too, right? The person in the gas mask? Yeah. Did you notice anything? Not really. The gas made pretty short work of me. As it would anyone, really. Me and Quark. What? You and Quark were grabbed together? Yeah. Yeah, we were. Is he your grandson? So what if he is? Why do you want to know? Interesting, so he's being defensive, but we are at least finally getting to press a little bit on what their specific relationship is. That doesn't have anything to do with what's going on here, but whatever it was, they spent a lot of time together or at least some time together outside of the Nonary game. But what if it does? Maybe it'll shed some light on something else. I'm pretty sure it won't. Why is that? Quark's got nothing to do with this. It's interesting that he talks about it like this, right? He always insists Quark has nothing to do with this, so why would he be brought in, or why is our relationship relevant? But he never asserts that he doesn't have anything to do with this, right? Temyoji is in the Nonar game, he's in this facility, and he probably thinks to a certain extent, I'm the reason Quark was brought in here, because he can draw a relationship from himself to all the events that are going on here. What that exact relationship is, I don't know. I am tempted to think that he's one of the people who did that research involved in Kay's backstory, or who also, I believe, is the researcher that was recruited by, um, oh, what was it? 
Dio was telling us a story about how there were a couple of researchers that were almost forcibly brought in to work on a particular type of research. I feel like Temyoji's in that category. So it's got something to do with you then? What is it, darn it? What do you want? Why don't you just leave me alone? Because you're suspicious. Well, what? There's nothing suspicious about me. Alright, tell me this then. When and where did Zero Senior abduct you? Forgive me if I don't feel like spilling my guts to a guy who probably hates him right now. Alright, fine. I'll just ask Quark. Quark! Hey! Stop it! Quark! Don't tell him a darn thing! Whoa. You're getting more suspicious by the... I'd started toward the partition as I spoke, with the intention of finding Quark. I found him as I rounded the divider, but... Quark? What? Move! Huh? This is certainly a turn of events. First of all, Temyoji's acting super, super sus about where he was at the time of his abduction. Clearly, where he and Quark were is going to be some huge clue as to why they're relevant to the Nonary game. But also, Quark not doing so hot at the moment. With a yell, he shoved me away and ran to the boy's side. Quark! What's wrong? Say something! Temyoji shook the boy's body. Is he breathing? Yeah! He's breathing. Then he just passed out? I don't know. Look, that doesn't matter. Just go find that girl, Luna. She said she was a doctor, didn't she? Quark needs a doctor. Right. Hang on. I'll be right back. She was probably still in the lounge. I spun around and ran off. Do we actually go to the lounge? Do we have a choice? Is it like when we looked for Alice that one time? The whole process took only a few minutes. The machine scanned Quark's body within seconds, the results lit up the screen. Is it the same? Ooh. Maybe not. Words too complicated for me to understand scrolled across it, and as she read them, Luna's face grew dark. She bit her lip and just stood there for a moment, looking down at Quark before she spoke. Well, I... I know what's wrong with him. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an infection. A viral infection. Oh no. I felt my stomach lurch. Don't tell me. Yes. He's been infected with a virus called Radical 6. So again, not, an, not a crazy surprise here. By then everyone had to push their way into the infirmary and gather around Quark's bed. Kate beckoned to Alice and Clover. Have you heard of this virus? Radical 6, I mean? Yeah, they have. I told them about it before we went to the lounge. What? No. No, that can't be right. Quark can't be. There must be something we can do. How can we cure him? Well, the Atom says there's an antiviral serum called Accelavir. It's the only way to counteract Radical 6. If we can inject him with some, he should... he should be okay. Where is it? Was there none in the infirmary? Sigma, Temyoji, and I looked everywhere. We didn't find anything. That's right, it was in the laboratory, wasn't it? Which I don't think we've been to yet. We didn't find anything like that in the crew quarters either. No luck in the lounge. Oh god. 
then he's he's going to Oh god no. Temyoji's voice broke as he spoke. With a tortured sigh, he collapsed to his knees. What? Quark? Quark? Quark! Oh, thank God! You're awake! Get away from me! That's right. This whole process. Sorry, Grandpa. I can't. I... I... have to... Have to what? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? I have to escape. But how? Like this. Quark's hand moved like lightning. He grabbed hold of the scalpel and was driving it straight toward his heart. Stop! No, let go! Let go of me! Pretty tough for a kid. Hey, guys! I could use a hand here. Yeah. Right. On it. Me too. Stop it! Let go of me, you jerks! Temyoji! What the heck are you doing? Get over here! Temyoji! Can you even hear me? Oh. Right. Darn you. Why would you let me go? I have to get out of this body. They can't lock away the soul. Once my body's gone, my soul can escape. Please. You have to let me go. Let me go. I'm trapped here. Let me die. I have to die. This seems pretty similar to the last time we saw Quark, you know, freak out like this. Kill me! Somebody! Anybody! Kill me! Kill me! Jeez, this kid's lost it. Hey! Somebody get that scalpel away from him! Right. I've got it. Good job, Clover. So that's the big difference this time around. Last time, it was Alice, right? It was just that somebody had taken it, and by the time we realized who had taken it, it was, well, Alice looked like she was about to kill someone, and ended up killing herself, presumably. But now Clover's got it. Quark barely even seemed to notice the loss of the scalpel. He continued to scream and writhe like he was possessed. What are we going to do? We've got to calm him down somehow. Luna! Yes? Are there any tranquilizers in here? N no Well, I mean... What? There's Soparil Beta. Soparil? That's the anesthetic. The one that's in our bracelets. Good, perfect. Hit him with some of that. What? He'll be fine. It's just the anesthetic, Temyoji. It won't hurt him, I promise. But... Just hurry up and do it. Come on, Luna. Yeah, I mean, if you don't do it, he's more of a threat to himself, right? Okay. Let me just... Okay, I've got it. Good. Wait until he's... Now! Do it now! Right. No! Stop! Quark doesn't seem to be too enthused about this plan. Respiration, blood pressure, brain waves, everything's normal. According to these readings, he's in a very deep sleep. Alright, I guess we're good for now. 
Yes, the question is how long, right? And then, oh, you know what? Maybe Quark gets out and about because Dio injects him with the, oh, what was it, neostigmine, I think? That potentially wakes him up from the anesthetic. What about the anesthetic? How long will it last? He shouldn't wake up for a few hours. Man, he sure was strong for such a little guy. I think that might be the virus's fault. Can we skip this now? Nope. It probably attacks the part of the brain that governs reason. Without anything to hold it back, his body was using every ounce of strength it had. Yeah, how do you know? Huh? Oh, um, well... How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about it is that newspaper article Sigma showed me. You better not be lying. Why would I lie about that? I've seen other viruses that do the same thing. I was just making a guess. So, when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that was because of Radical Six too? Yes. At least, I think so. So what kind of virus is Radical Six? I pulled the newspaper... Is this something we can skip? Nope. I pulled the newspaper article out of my pocket and looked at it again. Everyone else crowded in. Look at this last line. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Are you saying this is some kind of quarantine zone? I already explained this. That's not possible. Why not? Dio ran through what he told the rest of us in the lounge. Then you're saying the newspaper article was fake? But the virus is clearly real. That Adam machine told us he was infected with Radical Six. So? Do you know how that thing works? I bet there's a thousand ways to hack it. Zero Senior probably just programmed it so that it would spin out whatever he wanted. A possibility, but unlikely in my opinion. Besides, there was something Sigma mentioned. Have any of you guys heard anything about any sort of viral pandemic? Well, no. All of us viewing this in 2021 are like, not that one. But... I have heard rumors about a virus being used as a bioweapon. What? What did you say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alice, what the heck? Yeah, I think this is new information, right? Explain. As much as I would love to, I'm sorry. Time's up. Time. Hit the buttons on your bracelet. Crap. Five minutes. Then we only have five minutes until the chromatic doors open downstairs. Exactly. I'm sorry, but I'd really need more than five minutes to explain this. Well, let's hope at some point you do actually explain it though, right? Because it seems like in almost every timeline around this time you end up dying. As if you'd tell us even if there was time, right? Or would I? Who knows? Fine. 
We'll deal with this later. Right now, we need to get to the elevator and head down to floor B. What are we going to do about Quark? I'll carry him. Yeah, you gotta bring him with, at least for the sake of his bracelet. Are you sure? I can't just leave the boy here. Besides, if we don't have Quark's bracelet, there'll be one team who can't open their secondary door. If that happens, they'll get penalized. Exactly. Very well then. I will carry Quark. I will be able to move much faster than Temyoji. Hmm, you make a good point. Look, are you sure about this? Can I trust you? You have nothing to worry about. Fine, just be careful. Of course. Alright, let's go. We're running out of time, people. Move. And then, of course, we're going to have the hurried decision-making about who's going to split up with who. At Fi's command, we all began to run. The door opened and we spilled out into the warehouse. I don't remember what all the different pairings are, so I'm not sure exactly what my options are at the moment. But we're bound to have a new room, right? I really hope Alice survives so that we can ask her more about what she knows about the virus being used as a bioweapon. Seems like this timeline's a little bit more focused on Alice and Clover's past. Which is nice. Because that's been one of the biggest questions since literally the first episode. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. They're open. We need to hurry. Who's going to go in which door? Uh, what are our options? We're almost out of time. Pay attention. We've only got time to do this once. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. The options Phi laid out of us or for us were the following. Option A. Clover and I, Magenta, pair up with Temyoji Cyan to go through the blue door. Luna and Phi, Cyan, pair up with Dio to go through the green door. Luna, Phi, and Dio. Weren't they together last time? Or maybe that was a different timeline. Kay and Alice pair up with Quark. Okay. Option B. Clover and I pair up with Dio to go through the red door. Luna and Phi pair up with Quark. And then Kay and Alice pair up with Temyoji. Huh. Interesting combinations all around. Clover and I pair up with Quark go through the green door. Ooh, I'm really curious to see what Quark is like at this time period, right? Because in almost all the timelines, we see him up until this point where he's either sick, infected, and then we, you know, give him the anesthetic, and then that's it, right? We never really find him again. And then in a bunch of the other timelines, he's sick and he goes through the door with somebody else, and then as soon as he exits that door, he bolts and we have nowhere, we have no idea where he goes. So there's some transition we're clearly missing. So this option here is really tempting because I want to see that transition. So that would be Clover and I pairing up with Quark and going through the green door. What would that entail for everyone else? Luna and Phi and Tenmyoji and then Kay and Alice and Dio. What a mysterious little uh, trio that would be. All right, so yeah, let's go through the green door with Quark. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. So, how do we want to pair up? I think the people who have the greatest disadvantage should get to choose. What do you mean? The people who have one BP. Alice, Fai, Luna, Shigma. 
So you find Luna and Sigma? Yes, exactly. Alright, then. Who do you want to go with, Alice? Anyone but Dio. I'd rather die than get paired up with that prick. <laughs> Just anyone but him. Darn, that's a lot of hate. What did you expect? You betrayed me. Hey, I told you already. That was Quark. I don't believe you. What, you're telling me you trust him more than me? Anybody other than Dio could mean Quark, you know? You're willing to pair up with him? He's asleep. I don't really think I need to worry about him voting. Yeah, Dio's, Dio's just a pretty sus character in, in just in general, right? I glanced over at Quark. He looked tiny, cradled in Kay's arms, fast asleep. If I didn't know better, I'd think he was just a kid who tired himself out from playing too hard. Alright, fine. Who do you want to go with? Anyone other than Temyoji is fine. My reasoning is the same as Alice's. He betrayed me last time. I guess that's fair. If we want to honor Alice and Fai's request, then we can go with any option besides C. So, A or B. Hold on. We've got two other people with one BP. How about you, Luna? She'd be like, I'm fine with anybody. I... I don't really have a preference, called it. <laughs> Clover and Kay did betray me last time, but... They're both pairs now, though. And since you're a pair, too, there's no way you'd end up going through the same door as them. Yeah. Alright then, Sigma. What about you? Um, I... let's see. Clover and I were a pair. That meant that I had to choose one of the three solos. I mean, this is definitely my preference, to go through the green door with Quark. We'll see if it actually works out that way. I want to take Quark and go through the green door. So option C, I guess. No. I don't think so. Were you even listening? I'm not going to pair up with Temyoji. That means option C is out of the question. I agree. Option C is a no-go. Ah, oh, man. Can we... I wonder how much time is left. Can we really force the issue? You'll have to kill me before I'll go anywhere with Dio. <laughs> so, let's see how real of an option it was. It Or how, how, like... Was that even really uh, a decision we had any weight in? That was that, then. I might have been able to argue down one person, but two? Besides, there was no way I'd be able to overpower K, grab Quark, and force Clover through the green door. So maybe in this timeline, but... Hmm... Or maybe in this, like, big branch of the different timelines, but... Not this specific one? Maybe it was too good to be true to be able to see that Quark transition. Fine. If you guys are that determined, I'll pick another door. I had two choices, the blue door or the red door. I guess I'll go through the blue door with Temyoji. Hopefully we can earn Temyoji's trust and learn a little bit more about him. Hopefully it pays dividends later on in the story. I'll take Temyoji. So we'll go through the blue door. Me? But I picked Betray last time. Exactly. So I'll just make you pick Ally this time. Well, I guess I should say you won't have a choice. Is that so? Mind telling me how you'll do that? <laughs> I'd love to, but we don't really have time. Ask me again later, okay? That's interesting. I don't really know what Sigma is leaning into here. Fine. You're on. 
So we're doing option A. That means Luna, Dio, and I will go through the green door, which leaves the red door for Quark, K, and me. Huh, interesting combos. Any objections? I'm surprised Temyoji wasn't super adamant about being with Quark, like he was in one of the other timelines. Good. Let's go. Listen. Take care of Quark, alright? You needn't worry. I'll watch out for him. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Hurry up, guys! The door's closing! Right! I'm going, I'm going! With only seconds to spare, we dash through the blue door. And then we'll have another escape room. I don't actually know which room this is going to be. It's obviously not going to be the same one. But I'm trying to think. The laboratory is one room that we've heard about that we haven't actually had the chance to explore fully. Because there have been multiple rooms that have been referred to by other characters or we've had the chance to briefly walk through later on after other characters have, you know, solved those escape rooms. But there are some that we just have had no idea existed prior to actually getting there, like the control room, right? So I'm curious to see what room we're actually going to find here, because we're really getting down to the last few that we haven't actually explored. And so I'm, I mean, it's the laboratory, and I think that's all that comes to mind about rooms that have been mentioned but we haven't actually explored. So I'm curious to see what we're going to be exploring, but of course that exploration, that escape room is going to be in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I, I like that there are still quite a few differences, right? You know, Clover taking the scalpel this time around, definitely going to want to keep that in the back of my head. And this timeline so far seems to be focused on Clover and Alice's history, right? Alice letting on that she knows about viruses being used as a bioweapon, them talking about headquarters and even indicating or telling Sigma about the Nonary game, right? And Clover's history with it. So I'm curious to see where that goes too. But, but until the next episode, it's been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.